Hey guys, what's up? So sorry for not uploading for three days. So we're gonna be talking a little some different. So in case you know, I had social media advice on my daytime blog, but I have chosen to move it exclusively to my primetime blog, which premieres today, starting with this episode. And we got six original episodes coming soon. We're just getting five episodes. Those are actually gonna be four, but then I took out one from season one, so. Anyway, we're gonna be talking about a little site called Craigslist. And in case you guys don't know what Craigslist is, it's basically where you can like, get it's like job openings, selling things, and formerly, the personal section. All right, let's, t I'll talk about the personal section. Basically, before the, before there was a law that would, that would make, that would, have Craigslist shut down because of that. You were able to, Craigslist would be like a place for dating. Like men seeking men, women seeking men, like that kind of stuff. There was all those kinds of, there was that kind in the section, there's a section called the personals. But after 2018, because of the sex trafficking law that got passed in 2018, Craigslist chose to discontinue its personal section because of that. Anyway, let's let's talk about some things that what well, you should not do on Craigslist. Number one, don't scam people on Craigslist. I know you guys probably wouldn't want to scam somebody saying that if they pay you one million dollars, you'll give them a free iPhone or something like that. But that's called scamming, and that is one hundred percent illegal. Do not try this. All right, and also be sure you follow their community guidelines. Community guidelines are basically different in other countries, but they should stay the same here in the U.S. If you guys are one of my U.S. subscribers, and not one of you guys from like, I don't know, like you probably have probably got some of the subscribers from around the world. Maybe I have some Taiwan or um, Iraq subscribers, but just make sure, stay safe, and that's all. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this awesome video, if you guys want me to do more social media advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And also, we got teen advice coming up soon. Episode Pride. It's a special episode. Coming later today. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? So, this episode of teen advice will be about money. You know, everybody loves money. Money, 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 money. You know, I got that from Mr. Krabs and Spongebob. You know, so there's a lot of places where you can spend your money. But it's also a good idea to save your money. So unless you have a rich life and, and you make $2 billion a month, you should probably not waste your money on buying Gucci. There's a website called Gucci.com. I wouldn't go get that. I wouldn't buy that stuff off Gucci.com. It's too expensive. The, the precious handbags like $32,000. And watches, like, the watches are made of real golden emeralds. So I wouldn't, like, spend money then unless you're, like, a billionaire. All right? So if you guys got money, make sure you spend on bills. If you guys want to save money, just go go to Walmart and buy an antenna because you know it's a one-time installation. And you don't have to pay the bills. You don't have to pay the electricity. I mean, not, you don't have to pay the TV bill because it's a one-time installation. You guys get access to whole, hundreds of channels, such as the CW, NBC, CBS, My Network TV, Fox, and you know, as long it's gotta be in your local area. Make sure it's. Make sure you get an antenna that's, you gotta, you gotta get reception in your local area. If you're in a, if you're at a place where you get reception at all, then you should totally get an antenna. And if, and if, and if you guys want, you guys can also get a free phone. There's free phones now. This is an iPhone. This is a $600 iPhone. And, you know, I have more expensive stuff than that, you know. And guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, the last two episodes of Teen Advice will be review. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Hey guys, what's up? So sorry I just got to this now, but today, it's Friday, so we always do a little series I call Career Advice. So this episode is about bosses. Okay? So you should always listen to your boss. Even if your boss is strict. Like if your boss wants to run the job a certain way. But if your boss is like, not that kind of person, and is like, Super nice, and I was all like, oh, wow, you guys do all your work. Here you guys go. You guys get free cookies, and I will raise your pay. Nope. In case you know, that's 
that's not how things work in the real world. You don't just get free stuff every time you complete a task. It's not a video game. Alright? So, just make sure you make your boss happy. And follow their rules. We're going to talk a little bit more about the rules. And then the next season... I am going to plan out the next season already. We're going to learn about how to get the job. And I might split this into two seasons, all right? But anyway, guys, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want me to do more of these, please sure hit the like button in the face. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm Michael Stuff. The content you will enjoy. The App Store's rules have gone too far. I'm Michael Starwolf. And this is an episode we call The App Store's Rules. Alright, so in case you know, Fortnite has gotten banned from the App Store, but have they gone too far with it? Question, I got an answer for that. And they partly have gone too far with it. Banning a game over some that they're doing themselves. I mean, what's wrong with just adding your own in-game transaction anyway? I don't know why... It you would ban an app just for that because there are so many apps on there that do violate the, the policies, but they are on there too. But why remove an app just for the transaction? Well, in case you know, there's a lawsuit, Epic Games versus Apple. You guys can read all about that on Wikipedia. But that's, that's part of the reason why we're in this series. Welcome to the five part series. The App Store's rules, where we go and investigate the news. Alright, so, I do want to bring back the game, but I'm unable to right now because the game's not on iOS, but I am hoping that the new gaming service, GeForce Now, will bring back the game and we can probably either go back to live stream videos or just get actual footage. But, until then... We'll see if the App Store's rules will change. That's all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Microsoft. Content you will enjoy.